Attack on Titan 112, or what I like to call Eren Destroys Mikasa. So what's up guys, Fox in here. Time for the chapter follow up video. Like always, this is supposed to be a more casual discussion with you guys. I may even be drinking some Japanese whiskey for the Twitter section later. Before getting to the Twitter part, there are a couple of things I do have to address. First off, the main topic, which is pretty much Eren just breaking off from Armin and Mikasa. Oh yes, and there are a lot of questions regarding this. One of the quick things I will mention about this is that I am working on a full video on Eren. Right now, it does seem that Eren is mixing some truth with lies at this point. Ultimately, he's doing that for his master plan, or so it seems. And yes, I have seen a lot of people turning on Eren, especially people that were hardcore fans of him back in the earlier stuff. I've even seen a lot of people saying that Eren should die for making a girl cry. Frack him. I'm not sure how many of these people are serious, but if you are, okay. The second thing I want to address is that quote-unquote hidden message in the forest. In case you don't know what I'm talking about, in the latest chapter, look at the forest shot. If you look closely, you'll see this message. If you won't kill her, of course, this being right after what Eren did to Mikasa and Armin. A lot of people seem to think that it's a reference to Eren doing something to Mikasa. The thing is, just the previous chapter you saw this, it was actually from Niccolo. This was actually a reference to Gabby in this situation. As to why that's there? At first, I just thought it was these Ayama trolling people. But then, if you think about it, it doesn't make too much sense. For one, the message is in English. Why would Isayama write a message in English, when at least for the initial release, this is getting released in Japanese? That's when I checked the Japanese version, so take a look. In the Japanese version, that message is not there. After seeing that, I'm not sure what to believe. Could it be that Isayama is including something exclusively for the English version? And definitely let me know for the other official versions released, in other languages. To be honest, I think that would be too much trouble even for Isayama wanting to troll people. Not to mention, at that point, you probably have to work with the publisher to get this message out only on the English version. So I don't know, if you guys have any theories, let me know. Once again, this is not in the Japanese version. Anyway, I did have a lot of other topics I wanted to cover, but a lot of you guys are asking this with your questions, especially stuff concerning Arme, Mikasa, and Eren. First question up coming from the Patreon Discord. Lucky number one is T. Smith. Do you think Eren is being controlled by the past Attack on Titan holders? The same way that Eren says that Armin is being controlled by Bert. This chapter, you saw Eren pretty much bringing up the idea that Armin is being controlled by Bert or possibly any previous Colossal Titan holders. That that is why he has the hunts for Annie now. I'm not sure whether Eren is necessarily being controlled, but going by his logic, he should definitely be influenced. I'm going to touch on this more on my in-depth video on Eren, hopefully out by Friday. Anyway, moving on to the Twitter questions from you. Here are a few quick things about the questions. Please, please, please make it so your question is not super vague, unless you're really going for that. Second, only one question per person. And third, be sure to jump in and answer questions too. Just be sure to include the time so we know who you're replying to. And yesterday, there's so many Mikasa, Armin, and Eren questions. No surprise. First Twitter question coming in from Yes. I know you made a video about this, but I thought I'd still tweet to you about it. What about the time that Levi stated during the court case back in Season 1? If he, Eren, ever goes out of control, I could kill him if it comes down to that. What if that was foreshadowing? Well, technically anything could be considered foreshadowing if it comes up later. The thing about that is that that was pretty early on in Attack on Titan. That was way back in Season 1. So around that, we were barely entering the Clash of the Titan arc. At that point, I think Isayama was still planning to end the series by chapter 80 or 290. In other words, the stuff we're experiencing right now wouldn't have even taken place if he stuck with the original timeline. So back to the question as to whether that could be foreshadowing? Sure, we'll find out soon. Next Twitter question up from Kororin. I think Eren's behavior is the same as Lelouch from Code Geass. He's trying to become the bad guy in order to establish a new peace. Okay, for some reason I thought this had a question somewhere in there. But yes, the whole Eren Lelouch comparison has been there since I think like chapter 100 or chapter 101. I know I definitely got the vibe and made the comparison and even made a video on that after chapter 101. It definitely seems like it's going that direction. Next question up from JJ's WWE Asylum. Isayama said he's going to separate Mikasa and Eren for a while and she'll become more of a girl she was before. Eren called that the real Mikasa. But he also said to her, being with Eren forever is a wonderful thing. Will Eren at the end fall for the true Mikasa? So a lot of things here. For starters, I'm not sure whether Isayama actually said that. You're actually going to have to send me a link to that, preferably with the original Japanese text, if it is in some interview. 
As to whether Eren's gonna fall for Mikasa, especially after this chapter, right now it's really looking like Eren's walking down this destruction path. You also know he's basically like a walking time bomb. I'm pretty sure that Eren's gonna be dead by the end of the series, so if you're really shipping these two, you may be disappointed. Next question up from Selfish Coon. Hey Fox, eh? Love your videos. Why thank you. Don't you think Eren is following this axe so he could use it to keep them safe? Question mark? I think you're trying to ask whether Eren is following some type of act to keep Armin and Mikasa safe. So yes, a hot popular idea right now is that Eren is acting. The whole thing is a huge act. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in my Attack on Titan 112 review. If anything, that might be the number one thing people are thinking. Next question from Nebel Notice. So this one bringing up something I mentioned earlier about the hidden message in the trees. Go ahead and check out the intro of this video to find out about that. Next question from Nikki. I think Eren only showed emotion when Eren called him a slave because that's what he was originally fighting against. Being a slave to the king inside of the walls. Mentioning how he's still a slave could be the only thing to trigger old Eren to come back. Love your videos. So freaking awesome, thank you for the last part. This right here was definitely something I mentioned in my review about how it seemed that Eren was really himself when Armin called him a slave. Right now it does seem that Eren is acting or being controlled or being influenced. Whatever the case may be, he definitely quote unquote snapped back when he was called a slave. Right now the highest possibility seems to be that he's only acting. Given that that's the case, you don't really need to trigger old Eren coming back. He's still there. If anything, you just gotta find a way for Mikasa and Eren to piss him off and then just reveal his true colors. Keep on doing that, find the wound and keep on stabbing at it. Next question from K. Eren is protecting them, why would Kruger say that? If you recall back, I think it was in chapter 89, you saw Kruger mentioning the names of Mikasa and Armin. I think it's almost guaranteed at this point that whatever Eren is doing is just to protect his friends, at the very least. Although he is bringing them with him, so who knows what's going on. Next question from Kevo. What do you think is the significance of the purple flowers and geese cutaway scene? And how will it factor into the ending? So the purple flowers, I'm assuming you're talking about those flowers that keep appearing in season 1, which were not in the manga by the way. And then the geese cutaway scene? I'm not sure what that is. I believe the director explicitly was the one that added the purple flowers into the anime. I'm not sure explicitly why he chose to do that, although I do recall there being some type of interview where he addressed that specifically. As to whether the actual flowers will be factored into the ending, so far in the manga the flowers have not come up. So for the manga, I highly doubt it, unless you're going for a vague plant connection. For the anime, however, I think there's a chance, so we'll find out in like 5 years. Next question from Schwartzgeist? I definitely messed that up. Do you think Eren was just being cruel to Mikasa and Armin just so they could distance themselves from him? So yes, popular question and popular answer? Why was Eren being a jackass? He's trying to protect his friends and get them away from him. Next question from Ander Stardex. Why is Eren lying to Mikasa that he activated her at the cabin? First, he didn't have the coordinate yet. And second, he and Mikasa truly remember the incident. So there is no way they could have activated her. They? Who's they? But anyway, I'm not sure which part you're saying is a lie. Did Eren technically turn on Mikasa back in the day? I don't think this chapter explicitly mentioned that he have to have a titan shifter. That shouldn't matter at all. Assuming what Eren said was 100% the truth, what he mentioned doesn't contradict what happened on that day. Next question from the Aurora Jaeger. What are your thoughts on Zeke escaping? Are you pleased or concerned? So yes, this chapter we got the amazing shot of Zeke just saying, hell no, I am out of here. If you did see my Attack on Titan chapter 112 review, I'm sure you know already. It was freaking awesome. But just to clarify, we don't know if Zeke actually escaped yet. Levi could still catch up to him. Or I guess someone else if they come all of a sudden. Maybe someone like the Warriors. And then I think there's the small detail that Zeke is wearing some dress shoes. Good luck running with those for a long distance. If he was really trying to get away, I think he was just transform and run with the monkey form. Next question up from Distract Enemies. Do you think Gabby will be infected and become the next female titan when Annie wakes up? To be honest, if that happens, I would be super disappointed. It would really only highlight that Isayama had no idea what to do with Annie. To be honest, I'm like 90% sure that Annie's not gonna be eaten, at least not anytime soon. Yeah, we only have like about 20 chapters before Attack of Titan is over. If Annie wakes up, she better do something. I think anything less than her actually being significant to the story would disappoint everyone so much, especially hardcore Annie fans. 
As to the other part of this, everyone's wondering, oh, is Falco gonna eat someone? Is Gabby gonna eat something? Out of all the Titans, I think the only ones that would be eaten would be the Cart Titan, which would be Peak being gone. Or the second highest possibility, which would be Porco. I mean, we haven't gotten too much out of Porco, I don't think anyone really likes him too much. And then the Jaws Titan? That thing has been used so much like a cheap hooker. I think out of all the characters available right now, people wouldn't mind the Jaws Titan being switched over again. Next question from MarkMeister18. Do you think that Peak will follow Eren, Armin, Mikasa, and Gabi back to their hometown? And do you think we'll see Eren vs Armin round 2, Titan vs Titan? So here we have the question about what exactly Peak is gonna do. You saw Peak on the island, she's playing secret agent right now. As to what exactly Peak is doing, there should be three top possibilities right now. Either Peak is gonna go and find Zeke somehow, I'm not even sure how though, he's over there at the Titan Forest. The second possibility is that somehow she's gonna find Annie, which really right now, no one should know the location of Annie. In other words, Peak would have to find someone like Hitch or Hanji, and then just beat it out of them. Then the third equally possible situation is that Peak actually goes back to the hometown. It really depends on where the story is going. This actually goes in line with the second part here, Eren vs Armin round 2. Where was round 1, and don't tell me the thing that just happened this chapter. That was pathetic. If you're asking whether we're gonna see Eren vs Armin, I think that's actually a huge possibility. Although I don't think it's how you're thinking. Hopefully what Isayama's building up to is another great Titan War type of situation. In other words, it's gonna be this all-out brawl with every Titan. If we do get that scenario, you're gonna see what you're asking for. Except it's not gonna be only them fighting. Next question from JDK20. Do you think that Armin had a plan? He knew he couldn't win a human fist fight. But notice, he went to the wine rack. Not to mention, he still has his jacket on as well, which could be contaminated. I actually do like the thing you mentioned about the jacket potentially having some wine on it. That could come into play later. Although the thing about Armin having a plan? I mean, come on, I think you're giving Armin too much credit here. Armin just punched him because he was pissed off. I'm also not exactly sure whether the wine in that cabinet is the one infected. You know, since a little while ago, Niccolo had to specifically be given that wine bottle. I don't think they just have it there or wherever. But if they do, hey, that could come into play later. I'm not sure what good that would do though, unless you're trying to turn freaking Gabby into a titan. Which at this point, a lot of the people want, but only for her to get freaking killed. Next question from Speef. What do you think about the Ackerman clan being more or less like the Titans, but can't be controlled by the founding Titan? And do you think Levi is gonna marry someone just to maintain the Ackerman clan? About the first question, I'm not exactly sure what you're asking, since I thought that was the case and we've known that for a while. The only thing that really got confirmed in this chapter was that they are, in fact, like mini Titans. Who knows, perhaps that's why the royal family didn't like them. They can't be controlled. Or like they said in the Uprising arc, they feared them. And about the second part, I'm not sure why people are stuck on this marrying part. Hey, go ahead and get Levi to repopulate the whole island. I'm sure you would have females lining up for days and days. That may be the end of Levi, to be honest. Just get Levi to get his own harem. It'd be like the Aaron coat, except the Levi coat. Females only. Next question from Zaid. What do you think is Eren's reason for bringing them to Shinganshina? Also, not a chapter question, but when do you think we'll get the trailer for the anime coming in April? So I think for the first part, I touched on this on my chapter review. It seems that Eren is bringing them so he could show them his power. He's gonna unleash the Colossal Titans in that district. At least for an early test. Hanji did talk about doing this a few chapters ago. As for when the trailer is gonna draw for Attack on Titan Season 3 Part 2, aka Attack on Titan Season 4, to be honest, it could be any day now, up until the release. Next question from Carter Keiki. Do you think Eren truly hates Mikasa? I think at a mix, he hates whenever she acts like a slave, but he knows he cares for him deeper than that, and I believe he likes her when she's like that. So another Eren Mikasa question, as to whether Eren truly hates Mikasa? I mean, if you do really have to ask that question, I don't think you've been following the series that closely. Kind of reminds me of when people are asking, do you think Kirito and Asuna are gonna break up? Like, are you serious? So no, I don't think Eren hates Mikasa, not truly. Whether Eren's being controlled, it's an act, or some other unknown factor. Just going by the stuff that happened in Attack on Titan Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3, he definitely doesn't hate her, and at worst, he was annoyed with her. Next question from Tyler Herbert. Is Levi completely finished? Ah yes, the one vague question of the video. But not really, I think you're talking about whether Levi is gonna die from all those titans just raining down on his ass. So let me say this, 
Levi did mention not having any blades that chapter. However, I really, really hope that Levi was not unprepared and actually had some spare blades on it. I mean, you do see the blade holder on his legs. As to whether Levi is finished, besides the actual blade holder, you could see the 3D maneuver gear. In other words, he could just climb a friggin' tree and stay up there all day. Which brings up the question about whether Zeke actually wanted to finish off Levi. He does have his reasons. However, if he really wanted to kill Levi, he would transform into the Beast Titan and not run away. If he actually did that quick enough, I think he would have been able to take out Levi, or at least hurt him. For whatever reason, it seems that Zeke doesn't want to do that. He knows the value of keeping Levi alive. On the flip side, he does want to delay Levi so he could get his ass out of there. Next question up from Alejandro. Alejandro, wasn't that a Lady Gaga song? Anyway, what do you think Eren and Zeke will do when they reunite? Will they start the rumbling? So yes, thank you for asking an on Mikasa or Eren question. Right now it seems like they're heading back to their hometown. Hopefully Zeke knows the way there. If things do play out as expected, and how rarely does that happen? Then you'll see Eren's War Founding Attack Titan fist bump with the Beast Titan. At the very minimum, I think we'll see a couple of Colossal Titans exit from the hometown, which really should just be a taste for what's gonna happen at the very end. Next question from Ender Slayer Boy. Do you think Eren will hurt slash kill Zaggy or recruit her? I mean, she is female Eren. Oh, come on. I was actually pretty disappointed not seeing what Eren had to say to her this chapter. To be honest, I'm not sure what Eren's plan for her is. If you think back, Eren was crying, doing the whole crying laughing thing after he found out about Potato Girl dying. Now this rogue unleashed Eren found out who freaking killed Gabby. Who knows, potentially next chapter you can see Eren and the group on top of the wall, then he's gonna freaking spar to her ass off the wall. I think you would get like 90% of people cheering if Isayama did that. Next question from Bonnie. The info Eren got seems legit to me, but he used it to hurt Mikasa and Armin cause Armin always worried about being useless. Ever since the time skip, Eren's goal was to appear as this huge threat to humanity. What do you think the reason is? So this is something I'm going to heavily touch on on my Eren video. If you really go based on the popular idea, it really seems that Eren is trying to pull a Lelouch. He's trying to become this main threat, then sacrifice himself, and boom. Peaceful ending. Although does that really work? We're now living in a time where Code Geass is getting a sequel because his plan did not work. Next question from Abud Habash. When Eren was replying to Armin's question with the I'm free, I remember the final panel of the manga. Could the baby be Eren and the man be his father? Ah yes, going back to the final panel of Attack on Titan. So there's still a question of who that is. Is it Eren? Is it the father? Is it Kruger? Is it Mikasa? Is it Historia? Is it Historia's baby? Is it the horse boy? Is it Armin? With the last line being Omae wa Jiyuda, you get this talk about freedom. Which is a line spoken by his father, spoken by I believe Kruger too, but most notably what Eren has stood for. I think in some sense it has to be Eren. The series has to end with Eren in some way. So yes, a really high possibility is that either Eren's the father, or the man holding the baby, or the actual baby. Next question from Stick. Could it be that Eren and Zeke versus Armin, Mikasa, Levi? Will they recover Annie? Next chapter by the way, 112 was cool with Zeke running. Penis emoji. As to whether it's going to be Eren and Zeke versus Armin, Mikasa, and Levi, I would like to see that happening. Although it really is a question about what Isayama is trying to set up here. What you're asking about would be a full-on battle, which would take a couple of chapters. If you think back to the Marley battle, that spent several chapters. I don't think we're actually going to have time for a quick battle, then have a final huge battle set up. So this actually goes back to the idea that I mentioned. If there is this grand battle being set up, it's going to be everyone, not just the people you mentioned. Next question from Johnny Wrestling. Was Eren lying to Mikasa about hating her this whole time to protect her his weird way of saying he loves her? I know it sounds weird as heck, but I see a lot of people claim that this is Eren's tough love to Mikasa and Ormin. So we got another question asking about Eren and Mikasa here. At this point, who knows, it could be Eren just foreplaying to Mikasa. Perhaps she's into that. The only thing that really shatters this being quote unquote tough love or Eren wanting to separate himself from them is that he's bringing them with him. So we'll find out next chapter what happens. Next question from uh, mbetabb80. Do you think there's a chance for the ship between Mikasa and Eren? Because I've been hoping for this about three years, and to be fair, I don't want it to end that way. Let me just be really honest and say that if you're really hoping that something happens between Eren and Mikasa, you're in for some disappointment. 
I know a lot of people like to ship these two, but it really seems like people are really, really grasping. From the beginning, Attack on Titan wasn't really the series to be rooting for some romantic relationship. This is not Naruto and it's not Bleach, and I'm sure it's not like One Piece, which I haven't started. If you really are still hoping to see some romantic relationship between Mikasa and Eren, it's almost like trying to squeeze water out of a rock. To be fair, you know that that's the one couple I would root for. But at this point, I'm really not holding my breath on it. And here's the thing, there's like 50 anime airing each anime season. So if you really want to get some enjoyment out of seeing some relationship form, I would suggest looking at some other past series that actually focus on that. Next question from Chris. A crazy theory I had that Levi is saved by the scream of the titan in the distance, the female titan, and he appears and tells Levi she was sent to get him. The chances of this happening seem low, but how would you react to seeing that? To be honest, if that actually happens, that would seem like an ass pull that would be coming completely out of nowhere. Last time you saw Annie multiple times, she was still on freaking ice. Plus, I don't think Levi needs a female titan to show up to just magically save him, Sans. To be honest, a scene like that would be something I would expect from a different shonen series, not something on the level of Isayama. Next question from Otaku-san. How do you think the anime will start in 2019? How many seasons do you think it will take to reach chapter 112? Okay, so at this point, you know that the next arc will cover the Beast Titan arc. At that point, it should end with them getting to their hometown and then hopefully starting the battle. As to how many seasons it takes to reach this point in the story, it really depends. If they keep on doing this 12 episode season, this will be like season 5, in other words like 2021. Next question from Jordan Style. There's no doubt that Zeke and likely the others have been plotting these events for years. Do you see Eren's absorption of the Warhammer Titan and the Tiber family memories as a key part of their plan, and why Eren has drastically changed? If I recall correctly, Eren was only at Marley for a couple of months. His original mission was only to be scouting the area, I believe. Which is why I don't think that was originally part of their plans. As to why Eren has changed drastically, are you talking about the time that he was at Marley or the time he is right now in the latest chapter? Which to be honest, I don't think he's drastically changed. I mean, if Eren is just acting, that wouldn't mean he's changed almost at all. If anything, he's just matured. Next question from Silver Fox. Now that Eren is breaking his relationship with his friends, do you think there's a chance for Mikasa to form a new Ackerbond with Annie? Or is it better for both to develop separately? Alright, so assuming the Ackerman stuff that Eren mentioned was true, I really, really hope that Mikasa doesn't form a new quote unquote Ackerman bond with another person. Come on, at this point, she should be quote unquote free, or at least trying to be separated from Eren. Please, please, develop by yourself alone. Or if anything, Mikasa's gonna form another Acker Bond with freaking Armin. Watch, it'll be Boruto's dad with Hinata all over again. Next question from Brocat. If Yumi So was split into nine titans, would it be possible to reverse that and Eren to become the new Yumi? Given that he somehow managed to inherit all nine titan powers. By the way, love your videos. Freaking awesome, thank you for that. So yes, about Eren becoming the new quote unquote Yumi. I think for years, that's been the overall popular idea that Eren's gonna somehow gather all nine titan powers and become this almighty titan. So if you're asking whether that's possible, I do see that as a possibility. Next question from Leviat Anna. I think that Levi has drank the spinal fluid, but his Ackerman has stopped that coordinate from Zeke. What do you think Eren and Zeke will do if they meet soon? Will Mikasa and Armin try to stop it? Why about the rest of the world, perhaps? Alright, so about the first part, whether Levi has gotten drunk. This is something I brought up in my chapter 112 review. It would have been actually pretty irresponsible for Levi to be drinking while on his beast Titan watch. As for what Eren and Zeke would do if they meet soon, this is something that I brought up. They should be trying to go to the district, at least to test the power. And then Mikasa and Armin trying to stop it. Well, at this point, I'm not sure what Mikasa could do, but Armin should definitely try to do something about it. If not, it's going to be one colossal titan versus millions of them. Next question from Henry Lee. If Ackerman are technically titans, why didn't the ability activate it when Eren uses powers to control the titans and kill the smiling titan? I'm assuming you're talking about Mikasa that was on his back. As far as we know, they are technically still humans, but with titan abilities. Technically not quote unquote titans. I think that by itself should have proven that the founding titan powers do not work on Ackerman. Next question from Lewis. Do you think Eren, Mikasa, and Armin will become buddies once again, or is their relationship ruined to the point of no return? So with this latest chapter, he had Eren successfully breaking up the group once and for all. Is their relationship ruined? 
Once again, it really goes back to the whole Lelouch idea. Assuming that Eren is pulling a Lelouch, I'm sure that Armin and Mikasa will figure it out right before the very end, and hence forgive him if that does happen. Next question from Sebastian. Isn't that out of question for Eren to be the father? When he hates everyone who isn't free, why put Historia in that situation? And shouldn't he hate Historia now too? I mean, she was always the character in the story that has to life life for other people, right? I'm not sure what you mean with the last part. But about Eren being the father, at this point, I'm not even sure. I've heard arguments on both sides, like hundreds of them. If you're really only focusing on the quote-unquote free part, Yes, Historia getting pregnant would pretty much be removing her freedom in a sense. As to whether Eren's actually the father, I still see there being some key piece of information missing that Isayama's not telling us. Who knows, perhaps we'll find out in the next chapter or two. Next question, just some gamer. Do you think that Eren and Levi will die? Or will it be the case where Levi becomes the ultimate Ackerman and go berserk on Eren in the final chapter, but will be held back if he's lashed onto him? I mean, at this point, Eren and Zeke will definitely die. Zeke is gonna die way sooner. As for whether it's gonna become the ultimate Ackerman, do you mean Levi going into his quote unquote god mode? I think there'll definitely be some showdown between Levi and Eren in the final arc. I don't necessarily think that'll be in the final chapter though. As to whether he'll hold back, that'll depend on whether Levi's actually gonna die. I could see that happening. And the final question from Alex. Do you think that Mikasa will be the one to kill Eren and show that she broke her curse? Mikasa straight out finishing off Eren would be a devastating blow to a lot of people. Although I'm not sure whether that's going to happen. I kind of do like the idea. If anything, it might be some combination effort between Mikasa, Armin, and Levi to finish Eren off. Or who knows, perhaps Eren's just going to crystallize himself till the end of time. Anyway, that'll wrap it up. Go ahead and post below for any of these questions asked, and do be sure to include a timestamp. If you do enjoy these more casual, longer Attack on Titan discussions, be sure to smash that thumbs up and subscribe. By the way, if you do want to get a head start, the Attack on Titan Chapter 113 prediction video will be out in a week or two. You could go ahead and tweet your questions now, just be sure to include the hashtag, which is hashtag AOT113. I'll be sure to save them this time. Anyway, if you do like this format, let me know down below. Go ahead and check out my recent video on mistakes that people are still making even years later. And I'll see you guys later.